hi guys <laughs> wave to you with brush cleansing mitt so I thought it would be fun to do a video kind of comparing different methods of washing your makeup brushes because a lot of people do like how to wash makeup brushes how I wash my makeup brushes blah 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 they all do pretty much the same thing um, and wash them by hand but I thought since I went on a little kick of buying different brush washing methods and there's been a lot of talk lately about like brush cleansing mats like real techniques and uh sigma came out with some that i would just cover the different methods of cleaning your brushes and i have footage of me washing them and kind of give you the lowdown on what works best and for what situation what kind of brushes and all that nonsense so to start right here on my hand is a double-sided uh brush cleansing mitt um, this one's by Aesthetica Cosmetics, and it has like this forked section right here, and like ridge sections in between the thumb and forefinger, so you can kind of like help squeeze out your brushes when you're done. And there's lots of different textures. I think this side is more for um, small brushes, like your eye brushes, because there's like smaller grates, and I find like using this round part is really helpful in like getting all the suds out. And the other side, which is kind of awkward for me because I'm like left-handed, so when I put on the glove like this side with the bigger ridges which is more for like your face makeup brushes and your bigger powder brushes that's like facing in so if I want to use the eye brush one I kind of have to like use the opposite it's a little awkward because like I don't know I guess you'd always lay it down and use it as a mat too but there's a big variety of textures. This is supposed to not damage your makeup brushes and it does do a really good job of deep cleaning. I love these nubs over here for my thicker more dense brushes. So you're supposed to wet the bristles of your brush, pour a small amount of cleaning solution on the side you're using of the mitt and then gently move the brush on the mitt in a circular motion. Rinse the brush until the water runs clear and then keep repeating it and then squeeze the water out with the thumb and forefinger. This is cruelty free, eco-friendly, hypoallergenic, BPA free, lead free, PVC free, and non-toxic. So that's really awesome. So this is a really cool mitt. I've been liking using this a lot. I almost put it in a monthly favorites video. Then another method we all know, this is like what everyone uses, use like hand soap or like baby shampoo everyone use like the Johnson & Johnson's but I'm cheap so I bought the knockoff the CVS version just a travel size to try it at first and this has actually lasted me a long time I bought this in October and I like barely under halfway through and I use this a lot um, you can just use like the palm of your hand to wash it or this is what I also use with the cleansing mitt so you can just use it on its own so that's another method and baby shampoo is just supposed to be gentler on your brushes and kind of condition them so that's what's recommended you use with your makeup brushes. And then finally, I picked up this gadget. Um, it's by MUA Makeup Academy, and it's a brush cleansing balm. And I'm seeing more and more companies come out with these, but I just saw this at CVS, and something drew me to it. I don't know what. So it's just kind of like a solid soap that's in this little container. And I think this specific one has, like, goat milk in it. Yeah, it has goat milk and conditioning emollients. Um, it's supposed to leave your brushes soft, clean, and freshly scented. It does have a very strong scent to it. it smells kind of like natural, like a Burt's Bees kind of thing going on. And I'm not always crazy about it. You definitely smell it a lot on your brushes after you wash them. Um, the baby shampoo, it says it's mild, but it does have a slight scent, but I really like it more than this cleansing balm. Um, but I use this as well. You can also use this for your beauty blender, which is nice, but I find that this is too small to kind of fit it in once it gets fully expanded as a sponge. So what you're supposed to do with this is wet the bristles of your brush and then kind of swirl it in here and then kind of like massage them with your hands. So you still kind of use the palm of your hands to really massage it into the bristles. And then in order to refresh this, you're supposed to just like swish it under the stream of water really quickly to rinse off the balm itself um, when you're done using it. So this I find is really nice for just like your eye brushes that aren't too thick and you just want to run to the sink really quickly, bring this with you. I feel like this would be good for travel because it's like a solid, not a liquid, and you can just do it really fast. Not my favorite for the Beauty Blender because it's awkward to fit it in here. And then, I don't know, this just has a strong scent. So this is okay, but I don't use it as much. I just use it for things like touch-ups or smaller brushes that are pretty easy to clean because you end up using your hand anyway. So you might as well just be using baby shampoo in the palm of your hand you know, but this is just slightly more convenient. And I think this was $11, $12. This sample size was like 
two dollars and I forget what these mitts go for but you can get them pretty inexpensively and just like rinse them off and dry them out and use them over and over again but these two methods are pretty tried and true for just like an everyday quick brush clean that's not gonna deep clean like really deeply into dense bristles just for smaller brushes I think these work pretty well um, if you want to hand wash your more dense bigger brushes it's gonna take you a little longer and you're gonna have to do a few rinses and go through the cycle a few times with this if you're doing it by hand but I find that for my dense brushes like for example the one I have the hardest time cleaning love this brush to death I've told you guys about this before my Ayoko flat kabuki brush which I use for foundation like you can see like even way down here it gets dirty and gets product in it and when you go like this it's just so dense and you can see like dried makeup particles are flying around now but the makeup gets really deep in there so for this when I wash it by hand there's always like some discoloration in the middle like there's always a little foundation color that I can't get out using it just by hand but if I use the mitt and these deeper uh, nubs <laughs> we're gonna call them nubs then it really gets the entire brush clean it really gets in there so for face brushes I really prefer doing this method also brushes like this or bigger might not fit into the bomb thing and just washing them by hand takes forever and you have to rinse them out a million times but this is much faster gets very sudsy it's very fun to use kind of like hear it like make all the weird noises as you like go over the ridges so I really like this for my bigger face brushes and it works pretty good on small brushes as well because they have like small really delicate bristles for you to rub those smaller brushes on so yeah that's my lowdown on the different brush cleansing methods of course for things like the beauty blender i just like washing them by hand with a little baby shampoo or the beauty blender brand cleanser i had like a little sample size of that i used but it kind of smells weird and it's overpriced and this smells better and does the same thing so that's my lowdown definitely recommend checking out things like cleansing mitts and cleansing mats if you have bigger thicker face type brushes that are hard to clean by hand or that take forever. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Let me know what you think down below or how you clean your brushes that I just dropped. So now I'm going to need to wash it even more than I already had to. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to join the Glam Bam fam if you haven't already. And I think that's about it. I will see you in my next video. Three, two, one, bam!